love sweet potatoes are fantastic and easy. Corn on the cob, rice. I do all kinds of bread. The beans cook very quickly with the added pressure of the canning jar. Brownies, cookies. Basically anything. The food tastes so good. I solar cook 300 plus days a year. Spicy chicken. Sun, let the sun shine, let the sun shine on us. You'll be able to sing that next time. I solar cook in Nicaragua. I solar cook in New Mexico. In Canada. In Costa Rica. I solar cook in Belmar, California. I solar cook in Seattle. Because you don't have to watch the food, you just let it cook, it's ready for lunch. In Norway, in the UK. The food is so good. I solar cook because of our future generation. This is what everyone should be doing. I solar cook in Kenya because it tastes the best. It's the most awesome way to cook food that I know of. I cook from March through late October every year. You don't have to wait for a solar cooker to fall out of the sky. They are easy to make. My wife solar cooks in Sacramento and I love the food. But it, it, this would be economy of scale. You wouldn't be selling these one-off. Well, the oven has a quarter-inch plate cooking tray on it that is a massive heat sink. Food is put in from the back. I do my Thanksgiving dinner, my Christmas dinner in Colorado when it's well below freezing with snow on the ground. I just can't say enough good things about it. It's free energy. Why wouldn't I do it? <laughs> I still her cook because it keeps heat out of my home. I solar cook on the Himalayan plateau with the sole source. I've been solar cooking in my backyard for 27 years because I'm a very lazy cook. I solar cook in South Africa because it's magic. It's, it was fire. it's gonna help the environment. It's sustainable. It's fun. I like solar cooking because you can take just plain old food and then you can make it into something else that's cooked and then you can eat it. I've been solar cooking from the mid part of the 70s. We have many solar cookers at home, but if uh, if we are cooking in our kitchen, we are still cooking solar because the electricity is produced by the sun. I solar cook in Australia because it's just awesome. I'm popping popcorn on our solar burner. <laughs> Wait, you might want to ask him if he's if he consents to be interviewed too. Right? No, I, I don't. I don't ask you. <laughs> all right. Okay. I'm looking to build a house someday soon, and I'm looking at all sorts of alternative energies. I'd love to be able to incorporate something like this into my home. It's very good for the environment. <laughs> I say so like cooking in Japan because uh, we try to save energy. I'm a physics professor at Cal Poly in San Luis Obispo where life is always good. I've had people laugh in my face when I say I'm interested in solar cooking. We've had the technology for hundreds of years to make a solar cooker that could, that could cook rice and cook potatoes. Right? And so the question is, why are people choosing, rather than to use this beautiful, very effective technology, why are they choosing instead to put themselves at risk in order to get wood rather than using what would seem to be very obvious? It takes no man-made energy, it just uses the natural sun. Yeah. I have cooked solar food in Afghanistan for 40 years. They have 300 days of sun and it is perfect for the Afghans. You can cook anything. <laughs> it really enhances the taste of food and doesn't require any energy. I solar cook in New Zealand because it's free. We love solar cooking! Thank you kids.